Hello there. Welcome to chapter 14. Okay. So chapter 14 is about thermodynamics. So let us look into the first subtopic. Okay. Which will be on the first law of thermodynamics. Okay. So for the first example, we have example 14.1. You have 2495 joule of heat is used to heating a mole of neon gas okay, from the temperature 27 degrees Celsius to 147 degrees Celsius at constant pressure. They wanted to determine A. The change in the internal energy of the gas. B. The work done of the gas. Okay. So over here, constant R is given. Okay, now the information that we have is that the amount of heat, okay, initial temperature T1 and T2 convert into SI unit, which will be in Kelvin. Okay, and then the number of mole is given as 1. Okay, so to determine the change in internal energy, okay, so that means change in delta U, okay, U2 minus U. 1 so we can expand the equation okay where u will be equivalent to f over 2 and r t okay so therefore rearrange in terms of delta u okay and then since we have neon gas okay which will be a monoatomic okay therefore degree of freedom f will be equivalent to 3 okay therefore replace in into the equation and then the final answer, change in internal energy, we will get 1496 Joule. Okay, B. Okay, so by applying the first law of thermodynamic, okay, Q will be equal to delta U plus W. Okay, so the amount of heat energy supplied, okay, already given in the equation. Okay, change in internal energy, we already determined. From there, we can calculate the amount of work done which will be 999 joule okay triple nine okay next subtopic will be thermodynamic processes okay let us look into example 14.2 an ideal gas is contained in a cylinder by a frictionless tight piston the cylinder is surrounded by insulation to prevent loss of heat Initially, the volume of the gas is 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter cubic. Its pressure is 1.04 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal. And its temperature is 314 Kelvin. Okay. For question A, they wanted to calculate the number of moles for the gas in the cylinder. B. The gas is then compressed to a volume of 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meter cubic and its temperature rises to 790 Kelvin. They wanted to determine the pressure of the gas after the compression. C. Work done on the gas during the compression is 91 Joule. They wanted to calculate the increase in the internal energy of the gas. And then D, explain why a rise in the temperature of the gas takes place during the compression process. Okay, let's look into the solution. Okay, so the initial information that we have, okay, initial volume, initial pressure and temperature. Okay, by applying the ideal gas equation, PV equivalent to NRT. Okay, just replace in the value, we can calculate the number of mole. Okay. So, which will end up with 1.16 times 10 to the power of negative 2 mole. Okay, so for question B, okay, volume, okay, compressors become 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and then the temperature increase T2, 790 Kelvin. Okay, we can use ideal gas equation PV equivalent to NRT. Okay, so we can determine the final pressure P2, so which will end up with 2.63 times 10 to the power of 6 Pascal. Okay, so for question C, okay, the amount of work given, okay, 
Since the cylinder is fully covered by the insulator, no heat is transferred. Okay, therefore, okay, Q will be 0. Lah. Okay, so from there, Q will be equivalent to delta U plus W. Okay, therefore, delta U will be equivalent to 91 Joule. Okay, when the gas is compressed adiabatically, okay, it does negative work. Okay, so this will be the reasoning. Lah. Okay. Okay, so if we put it in equation, okay, uh, adiabatic compression Q will be zero. So therefore, delta U will be equivalent to negative W. Lah. Okay, the internal energy of the gas is increased to provide the necessary energy to do work. Since the internal energy is proportional to the absolute temperature, hence the temperature increases and resulting in a rise in temperature. Okay, next subtopic will be thermodynamics work. Alright, for example 14.3. Okay, you have a vessel contains an ideal gas in condition A. Okay, refer to the figure. When the condition of the gas changes from A to B, the gas system absorbs a heat of 2.55 kJ. When the gas in condition B changes to C, there is a heat transfer of 5.32 kJ into the gas. Okay. So over here they wanted to calculate the work done in the process A, B, C. Okay, B, the change in the internal energy of the gas in the process A, B, C. And then for question C, the work done in the process C, B, A. And then for question D, the total amount of heat transfer in the process C, B, A. Okay. So, for example, to calculate the work done, process ABC, okay, we can refer back at the graph over here. So, AB occurs at constant volume. Okay, constant volume, that means delta B will be equivalent to 0. Therefore, work done will be 0. Lah, okay, so for BC, we have change in volume. So, that means you will have a amount of work done. Okay, so let us look into the solution. Okay, so these are the initial information that we have from the graph. Okay. Okay. So for the work done in the process, okay. So basically for the work done A B C you have two processes. Okay. A B and also B C. Okay. For A B the work done will be zero because it occurs at constant volume. Okay. So for BC, okay, we can determine the amount of pressure from the graph, okay, pressure B, okay, then the change in the volume from point B to point C. So, C will be the final volume, final minus with initial, okay, over here. So, calculation which will be equivalent to 1500 Joule. Okay, by applying first law of thermodynamic okay we look into process a b c first okay so q okay heat energy a b c will be equivalent to delta u a b c plus work a b c okay and then for the heat energy okay so we have to process a b and also b c so this one, the amount of heat energy provided for process A, B and B, C already given in the question. Okay. Already reset out. So just replace in. Okay. So work done. We already calculated in question A. So from there, we can calculate the change in the internal energy. Okay. For process A, B, C, which will be equivalent to 6370 Joule. Okay, the work done in the process C, D, A. Okay, same like the previous one. Okay, we have two work done over here from 
point C to D and then D to A. Okay. Since C to D constant volume, okay, work done will be 0. Okay. Calculate the amount of work done okay, for process D A. So, which will end up with negative 1000 joule. Okay, for question D, we apply the first law of thermodynamics, same like the previous one, like how we calculated in A. Okay. So, since it is a reverse process, lah, okay. So, CDA will be equivalent to reverse process of ABC. So, that means, uh, for the first one, we go from point A to point C. So, this one, we are from point C to point A. So, therefore, the value will be equivalent to negative value. Lah. Okay. So, replacing the value, so the final answer, we will end up with negative 7370 joule. Okay. For example, 14.4, they wanted to write an expression representing the first law of thermodynamic and state the meaning of all the symbols. Okay, you can refer back to your notes last one. Okay, then number two, work done by an ideal gas at variable pressure. Okay, and then for question B, sketch a graph of P versus V for one mole of ideal gas, label and show clearly the four thermodynamic processes. Okay, so the first one, first law of thermodynamic. Okay, provide the equation. Okay, together with the meaning of the symbol. Okay, so delta U means change in internal energy. Q, amount of heat, then W, work done. Okay, so for the work done at variable pressure. Okay, so which will end up with W equivalent to an RT ln V2 over V1. Okay, and then B, catching. So we have a PB graph. Okay. And then make sure you label, okay, label clearly. So for over here, we have process AE, isobaric process, okay, AB, isothermal, and then AC, adiabatic, and AD will be a isochoric or isovolumetric process, okay. Okay, example 14.5, we have one mole of monoatomic ideal gas. At an initial temperature of 650 Kelvin, while the initial pressure and initial volume given P0 and V0, okay, respectively. At the beginning stage, the gas expands isothermally and causes its volume to increase to become twice okay, the initial volume. Then the gas undergoes isochoric process and return to initial pressure. Okay, so finally the gas is compressed at constant pressure and returns to initial temperature, pressure and volume. Okay, so this one, basically we have three process over here. Okay, so for A, they wanted to sketch a graph of pressure versus volume for the whole process. Okay, by using first law of thermodynamic, show that the total heat for the whole process. Okay. You will end up with this equation, okay, and then calculate the total heat for the whole process, and then state whether heat is absorbed or released, okay. So before catching, okay, we need to determine information. So what you can do is that initial, okay, isothermal expansion, we end up with P2, V2, okay, isothermal that means temperature constant, okay. And then second process, isochoric process, okay, uh, where the pressure equal, okay, volume also equal, okay, temperature changes, lah, okay. And then it refer, uh, it return back to the initial stage, lah, okay, at constant pressure compression. Okay, so for the first stage, isothermal expansion, Okay, constant temperature. So from there, we can determine the P2, okay, which will be half the value of initial 
pressure. For the second process, isochoric process, okay, constant volume. So we can use the equation P over T. Okay. So therefore we can determine the temperature 3, which will be equivalent to twice the temperature 1. Okay, and then the third process. Okay, what we can do is that we can sketch a graph ready because it will return to the initial position. We already know the value. Okay, let's say T1. Then over here we have T3. Okay, it should be equivalent to twice the value of T1. Okay, so let's say point A we have P0, V0. Okay, so this one at constant temperature. Okay, the gas is uh, compress uh, sorry expand okay so the pressure will decrease la. okay and then over here okay at constant volume okay so the pressure increase okay and also temperature increase and then it return back to initial position okay all the three process Okay, we go one by one lah. Okay, for the first part, isothermal expansion. Okay, since it is isothermal, so the temperature will maintain constant. So internal energy will be zero lah for process one and two. Okay, so to determine the amount of work done, okay, we can use the equation nRT ln P1 over P2. Okay. So, we will end up with equation NRT1 ln 2. Okay. For the isochoric process, okay. isochoric that means occurs with constant volume. Okay. Work done will be 0. Lah. Okay. Work done 0. But to determine the amount of heat energy, we can calculate the uh, change in the internal energy. Okay. So replace in. So simplify. We will end up with 1.5 nR T1. Okay. <clears throat> and then for the constant pressure compression. So from 3 to 1. Okay. So this one it will involve change in temperature, also change in volume at constant pressure so that means you will have both change in internal energy and also amount of work done okay so replace in the value so we will end up with negative 1.5 nrt1 minus p0 v0 okay so for the total heat energy what we do is that you add up okay add up with the all the previous equation so, which will end up with nRT ln 2 minus P0, V0. Lah. Okay. Okay. And then, to find the total heat. Okay. So, since we know P0, which will be equivalent to nRT1. Okay. So, simplify further. Okay. And then value of n is already given one mole. Okay, we all have the value of constant. And then T1, which will be the initial temperature, value is given, which will be 650. From here, we can calculate the total amount of heat energy. Okay, which will be negative 1658 joule. Okay, so we have a negative heat energy that means the heat is being released to the surrounding. Okay, the last example will be example 14.6. So over here we have a 0.5 mole ideal gas filled in a 0.5 meter cubic container at 30 degrees Celsius. The gas is isothermally compressed to a volume of 0.3 meter cubic. Then the gas expands adiabatically, uh, sorry, isobarically to its original volume. They wanted to sketch a PV diagram for this thermodynamic process. 
calculate the total work done in the process okay so whenever we have this type of question the first thing okay what we do is that we can do a flow chart lah, okay to simplify the question okay so this will be the initial okay we have p1 v1 t1 and then we have isothermal compression okay which will end up with p2 v2 since it is isothermal compression temperature will maintain constant so t2 will be equivalent to t1 okay and then we have isobaric expansion okay so isobaric expansion that means pressure will be constant okay temperature will change okay and then you will have changes in volume lah. okay so before we sketch we need to have the information lah. okay so for first one isothermal okay we can compression we can use pv and rt okay so from there we can determine the pressure one okay and then using Boyle's law okay we can determine the pressure p2 okay and then for the isobaric expansion process okay pressure will be constant okay t2 303 which will be equivalent to t1 okay from there we can calculate the value of t3 which will be equivalent to 505 kelvin okay so once we have all the information ready what we can do is that we can sketch the graph okay so let's say position 1 <coughs> okay volume 0 0.5 pressure 2.52 okay isothermal so that means constant temperature so this will be 0.2 okay where the pressure becomes 4.2 and then the volume decrease lah. okay we have isothermal compression over here and then isobaric okay so over here we have expansion okay volume expand and becomes 0 0.4 okay Okay, so to calculate the work done during the isothermal compression, okay, occurs at constant temperature. So, which will end up with negative 643 Joule. Okay, and the work done during the isobaric expansion, okay, which will end up with 840 Joule, okay, for process 1, 2 and also for process 2, 3. Okay, so therefore the total work done, we will end up with, okay, 197 Joule, okay, so we will get a positive value. Okay, so that's all for semester 1, okay, good luck for your final examination, okay, have a nice day.